this is the contact form scenario that we created during the first part of this particular video series. And there we had two items, one webflow and one Google Sheet. Now we are going to expand this so that it can connect with Relevance AI as well. Now let's edit this scenario. And here we are going to add just one more module to it, which is going to be Relevance AI. So I'll search for Relevance AI. And here you can see this is the Relevance AI tools. This is the correct module. And if I click on show more, I'll be able to see the different operations that I'll be able to perform. And in this, we have to select the action, which is message and agent. So this is what we'll be using to communicate with the agent that we created within our Relevance AI account. So let me just select this option, message and agent. Now, before you can make use of this agent, you need to make sure to add a connection. So when you click on add connection, you will see these are the things that are required. So you will require one Relevance AI project ID, then one Relevance AI API key and one region. And one thing it is very important when you create the Relevance AI API key is to give admin access to your API key. Then only it will work. Let me just quickly show you where you can get these details from within your Relevance AI website. So in order to generate the API key, what we need to do is to first go to the Relevance AI website and under the account section, you will see integrations and API key. So if you click on integrations and API key, you will see the different API key options that we'll be able to create. And here you have to select Relevance API keys. And once you select the Relevance API keys, you will get the option to create a new secret. So just click this and follow the steps to create the API key and remember to provide admin access to this key to be used with Micro. So I already created one key. So this is the key that I have created, which I'll be using with admin access. So when you create the key, it will provide you with information like the project ID, API key and region. Just provide that information here so that you will be able to connect your Relevance A account with your Micro. Now, once you add the connection, you'll be able to select the connection. Then after that, once you have the connection enabled, next thing will be to select the agent ID. So which agent you want it to execute as part of this scenario. So here you can see both my agents are listed and I'm going to use this message and laser agent for this scenario. Next is user message. So this is the input that you want to give to the agent. In this example, we have to send the user message as input to this one. So what I'll do is I'll be making use of this message section from the submission. So if you want to send more details, like if you are trusting a company website, etc. And if you want to check the relevance of the website, whether the website is a valid one, etc. Then you can send those messages also to your AI agent and configure the agent to unleash that part as well. But this is just a simple demo of how you be able to process the message user message you can keep this conversation part as empty so now let me just save this one so it is saved so i'll just save the scenario remember to always save the scenario before you do anything else now from the previous scenario i need to make one change in the google sheet document so here it is using save contact form right so instead of that i want it to make use of the new sheet that i created which is contact form and the data and everything is similar and the data is same only difference is here you can see more fields that are available so let me just save this one let me save the scenario and let me just delete my dummy submission from here so that it can start fresh now everything is ready except for the saving to the google sheet part so that we'll be able to add once you have executed this so that we'll get some details based on the execution so what i'll do is i'll just run this once so that it will listen to this so that we'll be able to get the data and we'll be able to process that information so let me just go to the contact form and make a new submission dummy value and in this message i'm going to simulate a message that a customer can send so i need help with automating automating my social media posting using micro so let's say this is a message that we are getting i'm going to submit this and now i got the success message and here you can see see this one it received the message and it saved it to google sheet and now it is being processed by our relevance ai agent so the agent is now performing the operation of analyzing the data and here see we got the response back and here see this, this is the response that we received and the data is in the answer section and it is in json format since we configured our agent to respond using json format it is giving the response in json format 